This is round two, take two against Adam because for some reason my game timed out, which is really frustrating. <laughs> Worst part is I'd had so many tags around the map and then he killed a sniper that I was waiting for him to kill and then the game booted me. And I started at the exact same place. So he has well, also started this. at the exact same place. <clears throat> so if I play this really smart, I can catch him. I can catch him on the move. Alright, shoe mine. He won't expect the shoe mine. He, I don't think he'll expect it because it's, it's not something the invader usually has. So having this would be like the least expected thing that I could possibly do. And because he knows the invader by default can't have it, I think that will really put him off, especially if he gets killed by it. Which I'm hoping will happen. I'm hoping I can catch him with the trap because the trap is the creme de la crop. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed kill. <clears throat> But what was I saying before in the like rebellion games? Like the decisions are a bit odd. Like the removal of special ammo from invaders, that was a daft move. And the map design feels like a step back from Sniper Elite 4. Especially when you look at maps like you know Allegra Fortress or a Brinza Monastery or Deathstorm 3, Target Fuhrer some elite maps that are just lost to time really although good maps oh sh shibe that was not supposed to happen that was not supposed to happen great i've just i've just given him my position i just go beep boop beep boop here's my ip address here's my contact info Here's my name, my social security number, here you go, that's it. That's basically what I've just done. I've just given him a precise pinpoint position to look at. Which I don't want. Because if he sees me, he knows it's going to be me. Because no one else is dressed as a bush here. Is he going to take that way? Or... I don't think he's going to take that way, that's the thing. I don't think he's going to do that. Because he said he only takes that way, that wall. So if I can get a visual on that wall early, Was auf der Hut bleiben. I could be on a roll. It's avoiding not getting my head absolutely blown off of my shoulders as well. Because he's got aim assist on. But I could aim assist, it's empty lung assist, but it's the same concept really. I've got a hope and pray. That he trips the trap because the shoe mine TNT is a blessed combo. The shoe mine does the first fraction of damage. The shockwave triggers off the TNT, which then kills because of the rest of the damage. And the TNT, I believe, does more total damage than a um, what you call it. It does more damage than the player can possibly have. I tagged him. I got him. But it didn't trigger the TNT. You're joking. Are you joking? It didn't trigger the TNT. Oh, you are absolutely having... You are having me on. Oh, my God. Klaus, breathe, my boy. Breathe. Oxygen is not expensive. Oxygen is free. Where's that bridge? There's that bridge. Okay, he's killed that guy. He's probably going to come this way. Oh, shh. oh, this is not good. This is actually really bad. Right. If I can catch him off guard here, that would actually be really good. But if I've actually been tagged and he has tagging on, my whole plan is about to be foiled. Now I think about the eight armor piercing rounds isn't gonna be a problem if he doesn't have focus unless he tags me, which tends to happen more often. But even then, up close, 
That's not really going to happen. He's not really going to opt for that. Also, I'm quite um, covered here, I say. I just want to hope and pray that he doesn't make the decision to kill a few more. I didn't. I wanted to kill a few more guys, actually. There's one gone. The more he kills, the more like surveillance I have, the more I can control. Because I want to control the game. That's the point. I want to control. <clears throat> I'm a control player. I like to control the opponent. Lock them into certain scenarios where they have to kill this guy. Or they have to go this way. Because otherwise if they go this way they might die. Even though in most cases they'll go the way they want to. Not knowing I've trapped it or something. And it's just completely over for them. Um, kill a guy. You know you want to. You know you want to. If you kill a guy, just don't kill me. That wouldn't be very ideal if that is the case. Is he going to go into the tower? If he goes in there and the two guys spawn in, that's absolutely just perfect. Okay, yeah, so he did take that way. So he started... Yeah, so he started in here, and he's made his way around the wall. Now he's this way. This is the last place I know him. On this bridge. Ah, detected. Yeah, to be fair, it is a bit scummy waiting there. I don't want to wait there forever. But it's the best way I can really pinpoint where he's gonna come from, in a way. <sighs> Problem is, he hasn't killed anyone else. So I have to actually pay attention to what happens on the screen. I have a feeling he's gonna come from here. But then again, is that too basic? Since here is a choke point. This is an absolute choke point. It's annoying me that he hasn't killed anyone else. Because I would really appreciate that. I'm so annoyed that the trap didn't get him. I'm actually really annoyed that the trap didn't get him. <clears throat> I was really hoping that would work. But it looks like my plans have been foiled. Oh! That sounds. I like that sound. That means he's down here. I have reason to believe that my friend Adam is down this way. Somewhere. He might come through here. That guy in the courtyard is going to be a big help here. I like the music in this game, but playing without it not only adds to the atmosphere, but it also really helps everything else. It really helps, it actually really helps. Maybe that way? Why would I give up elevation though? I shouldn't just be giving up ele That's it right there. 
Gotcha. <laughs> there we go. Good game.